Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel and today we got some really cool leaks on some really cool shoes coming out soon and let's get it started right off with the Kyrie Low 4, right? So shout out to Sneaker Highway 23 and Street Boy for these leaks but you know, we've already seen the leaks of the Kyrie Low 4 but we didn't really have any like release photos. These are official photos that Nike's gonna use on the website when they're selling it, right? So we got this like light green color with this like pink outsole and I guess like blue as well. And that's not what has me excited. What has me excited is if you guys look at the back of the heel, we've already known this, but it says here full length Kushlon and Kushlon is nice. The only thing bad about Kushlon is that it bottoms out fairly quickly like Lunarlon. Uh, but I mean, Kyrie's have never had good cushions. So I mean, I'll take the Kushlon over Phylon any day. Uh, we don't know if it's going to have a zoom unit. You know, there's really no evidence of it saying zoom anywhere on the shoe. Usually if a Nike shoe has zoom, a Nike likes to put zoom somewhere on the midsole, or I guess like it's somewhere on the shoe. If the zoom unit's in the forefoot, usually they put, you know, zoom air in the forefoot, you know, kind of like in the midsole, or if it's in the heel, they put zoom air in the heel, right? So, uh, I mean, we haven't really seen any pictures of the medial side of the shoe. So uh, maybe it says zoom somewhere there, but I'm guessing it's just full length Kushlon and no zoom, or maybe a really small zoom unit somewhere in the forefoot or somewhere in the heel. But that's okay, because the Kyrie Low line, the Kyrie Low 1, 2, and 3 has had really crappy cushion. I mean, they've had forefoot and heel zoom units, but I mean, they weren't that nice. You couldn't really feel the zoom units, and then plus the stiff Phylon. So I'll take the Kushlon over that. As far as the materials go, the materials look pretty nice. I mean, it has this grid pattern. It kind of reminds me of the LeBron 18 low or like the KD 13. You know, it has that grid pattern on the materials. You can see that there are like four foot clips, you know, for the eyelets. So, I mean, when you tighten that up, it'll probably tighten on your forefoot a little bit and also help for lateral containment. I mean, this shoe kind of looks like a combination of the Kyrie 7 and the Kyrie Low 2 a little bit to me. So for the outsole, we have the teeth in the forefoot, just like the Kyrie 7. I mean, the, the traction pattern looks very, very similar. I mean, pretty much the same. Um, do you guys think there is a zoom turbo unit in the forefoot for the Kyrie Low 4? That would be awesome. We'll have to see on that. Price, I don't know. Uh, it's the, the Kyrie Low line has been like 110, 120 bucks. So will they increase the price because it's full length Kush line? I, I don't really think so because they're probably not going to put a zoom unit in it. So we'll have to see. I feel like it's going to be around like 120 bucks. And a lot of you guys are excited about this shoe as well. I posted it on Instagram. So there is the Kyrie Low 4. Just a little update for you guys. We have a new colorway of the Kyrie 7 and it's really dope. It is the Weatherman Kyrie 7, just like the KD4 Weatherman. So a lot of you guys are excited about that. This colorway is definitely super sick. So keep your eyes open for that. Um, next, we have a new shoe, completely new shoe. It's called the Nike Zoom GT Cut. And this is actually a basketball shoe. I know guys, it doesn't really look like a ball shoe, but it is. And it reminds me a lot of the Kobe 360, right? It, I, I'm not sure how yeah, I mean, it is a drop-in, right? It, I feel like it is. If we look at the insole, we can see that it is React. And also it says React here in the heel, you know, on the lateral side, it says Nike React. I'm guessing, obviously, that's just the insole, but how thick is that insole? You know what I'm saying? Is it like kind of like a drop-in midsole where it's a nice React? You know, because we can see the React pattern here in the forefoot. I'm guessing it's just a React like insole. But my question is, how thick is it? You know, we have some pictures of it. You know, in this picture, we can see it, but it doesn't really show how thick it is. So and then there is another picture here. But also, there is a full length zoom strobe unit in this bad boy. And I'm super excited about it. It's freaking React plus zoom strobe. We'll have to see though, because I hope the React is uh, thick enough so that you can feel it to where like it's nice. So we know the 360, the Kobe 360 had insane cushion, super comfortable, a lot of compression because it is a drop in React midsole with like the, that, I believe it was like Lunar Line or something like around the perimeter of the midsole. But it was super nice, but on hard, hard impacts, the React is super soft. So then you would feel the cushion bottom out and then you would kind of feel your foot hit the ground a little bit, you know, just because it was a little too soft. So on hard, hard impacts, it wasn't the best for impact protection, right? So I think the Zoom GT Cut is going to fix that because you have the React, which is going to be really nice for step and comfort. Uh, like I keep saying, it's, it depends on how thick it is. And then we have the Zoom Strobo unit. So I'm super excited about that. The shoe looks very, very lightweight for some reason. It reminds me of the 360 a lot, uh, just from aesthetics. I, I, the swoosh looks dope. And then here in the forefoot, we can see that plastic piece for a lateral counter. And then on top of the toe box, the toe box I'm not a huge fan of. I don't know, They it feels like they added that little panel. It, it looks like 
obviously they stitched it on uh, but it looks a little bit thicker and in the toe area for the materials i like to have the material uh pretty thin so we'll have to see on that um but the overall shoe looks super dope and the tech looks awesome especially with the cushion and then for the traction the traction looks okay uh, it looks very aggressive but uh, not very durable for some reason and also says zoom struggle here on the bottom of the shoe in the midfoot and in the midfoot that's probably the midfoot shank plate and then the materials look pretty damn nice you know it looks to be like a, a like a fly knit kind of um, but it does look pretty glued down so uh we'll have to see how the materials feel all right next we got the nike precision 5 so as you guys know the precision has been really really good for nike uh, nike has been offering it for quite a while and this is its fifth iteration so the precision line since i, I think like the three uh, it has been really really nice you know a very cheap shoe 80 dollars but a really good performer i mean obviously quality wise the material isn't the best and the tech isn't the best but uh, it's just they, they just make it super well so that the traction is really good cushion isn't that bad very supportive shoe very lightweight so it's just a really good performer uh, as we've seen from the previous precisions uh, but you know the precision 5 looks pretty dope uh, they made it a low and the shape of the outsole looks very nice you know i feel like heel to toe transition is going to be uh, very smooth and as far as the uh, cushion goes uh, they're probably not going to use a zoom unit i mean they haven't used a zoom unit in the precisions ever i don't think uh, so I mean hopefully the foam is kind of soft and we have we can see a little bit of an indent in the heel with a Nike swoosh and that'll probably help compress the cushion a little bit uh, more where that indent is and the materials look pretty nice it looks like a textile material usually they use like a uh, shit mesh or a mesh type of material so I like how they changed it for the precision 5 and also for lateral containment <laughs> you guys can see a little bit of the foam coming up here I guess in the midfoot so I'm pretty excited about that precisions are usually solid performers next apparently we have CJ McCollum's first signature shoe with Li Ning and I'm pretty excited guys so Li Ning is dope Leaning makes really good performers, very comfortable, very high quality, although like very pricey, um, but they make some nice ass shoes. And the only signature athlete they have is uh, Dwayne Wade's signature line, right? I mean, they have uh, like D'Angelo Russell and some other guys, but as far as the signature line goes, they only have Dwayne Wade. And Dwayne Wade is retired, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's nice that they added uh, someone else to the lineup. And uh, as far as the aesthetics go, it looks okay. Um, it kind of reminds me of like the uh, Sonics a little bit, like the Leaning Sonics, if you guys don't know. They're good performers as well. Uh, we have this red colorway. We have also some plastic here in the, in the forefoot, which looks interesting. And then for the cushion, they're probably using cloud foam. Cloud foam is super nice and the materials look pretty damn nice as well. It looks to, it looks to be like, a, like a, maybe a jacquard or a textile material. And last but not least, we have some actual pictures of the Under Armour MB2, right? So we already seen kind of like the tech specs and like the catalog versions. So it's kind of like a render or like a drawing of the official shoe, but this is the actual shoe now. And aesthetically, I'm not a huge fan. You know, the MB1 looked dope. I actually really liked the aesthetics of it because it reminded me of uh, like the Kyrie 2s a little bit. And uh, the MB2 looks okay. To me, it kind of looks like a basic, you know, like a budget shoe that Under Armour has to offer. So aesthetically, I'm uh, not a huge fan right now, but it looks pretty dope performance wise, you know? So here is the traction. Uh, the traction is multi-directional. We got some triangles and then some, I guess like herringbone here in the forefoot. And then for the cushion, remember we have micro G and hover, you know, they, I believe they said they're using like 500% more hover than the MB1. So I'm super excited about that. And then the materials, the materials here in the forefoot looks interesting, right? So. It looks like a synthetic material. You know, I thought it was gonna be like a uh, like a textile or a knit material from the actual pictures, but it's not. It looks to be a synthetic with some like weaves of uh, other materials in it, like, like these pink and blue strands of material. So I, I don't know, we'll have to see. I mean, it looks very supportive, but hopefully it's a soft and comfortable material on foot. But anyways, that about wraps it up for all the leaks that we've seen of shoes. Super excited for basically all the shoes coming out. You know, the MB2, the Kyrie Low 4, the Zoom GT Cut, and CJ McCollum's shoe as well. So tell us what you guys are most excited for down in the comment section below. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.